wait for the difficulty to arrive, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ease will be with you. Inama having the fear of the difficulties to come in life, this is by yourself. You know, there are people that fee, fee. They fee the concept of fee. Yani, there's no problem in his life, but he just sits down and he's fearing. He's worried. What's going to happen? And, and this such a person lives in misery. Then the difficulty hasn't happened yet. Wait, when it happens, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's tranquility upon you would descend. You'd learn how you, you'd be able to deal with your problem. Now, now why, why would you fear something that still hasn't happened yet? If you need to understand that you're living for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you live in the manner Allah Azza wa Jal wants you to be with, and you engage yourself and you busy yourself with Zikrillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam uh, Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah he says that the one who doesn't busy himself with Zikrillah and he just keeps to himself and he has moments in life where he's just silent, doesn't do anything. You know what this does? It brings waswasa to shaytan about. It brings waswasa to shaytan. Shaytan begins to give you waswas. What's going to happen later on? What will happen tomorrow? But when you when you keep your mind and your tongue occupied with Zikrillah, there's no there's no there's actually no room in your mind to think of anything else. For waswasa to shaytan goes away. That's very true. It's very true. Sit to yourself and don't do anything. Watch where your mind goes. Watch where your mind is going to take you. To the most horrible of things. The only way you're going to protect your mind from these negativities is to keep it busy. And the best thing to keep it busy with is Billahi subhanahu wa ta'ala.